Good afternoon, everyone. Glenn let the more attractive half uh, do, the, uh, do the speech today. So I'm here to talk about our projects in Côte d'Ivoire and our disco recent discovery uh, in the northwest of Côte d'Ivoire in uh, ODNA. The usual forward-looking statements. Um, our projects, uh, we, we have three uh, district-scale plays. Uh, Odiani, I just mentioned, where we've had a discovery up in the northwest. Uh, Bonduku in the northeast, and to the south of there, the Ab Abinguru project. Um, all three of those uh, project areas are two, around 2,300 square k's of uh, granted exploration tenure. Just quickly, the, the team, um, Glenn is the CEO, uh, and Eric Roth is the director. Um, they're from Mariana, and uh, we had the projects as Mariana prior, and then after the sandstorm buyout of Mariana, we brought them back out and, and relisted. So current shares on issue, um, 80 million. Uh, market cap is uh, 8 million, and uh, we've got about 1.3 million Canadian in cash. Um, Management, we hold, um, management holds 26% uh, 20, of the company. And uh, Sandstorm has stayed uh, in the company at uh, our various cap capital raisings uh, since, since listing. So as mentioned before, there's a diversified uh, portfolio, different geological environments. Bonduku is uh, just under 1,200 square kilometres. ODNA, uh, one granted permit, and there's an application as well. Um, just 400 square k's and two granted permits at Avanguru for 800 square kilometres. So the ODNE project uh, where we had our discovery, it sits on the, uh, or close to the Archean uh, Barimian margin. Um, to the south, to the southwest there is the Archean. We sit on a wedge of uh, Barimian supercrustal rocks and then you have the Sassandra Fault just to the west. So we are on a um, splay of a crustal scale structure. Um, the the splay actually continues out through Guinea, and uh, is in itself um, um, a crustal scale structure. Um, we have multiple late intrusions coming up through the project. Um, these are great for brittle ductile um, uh, behaviour during deformation and gold deposition, and um, also recent studies have been showing that there is a definitely a spatial relationship between. Um, the, younger, the younger granites in the Barimian and the big gold camps, uh, Lulo Guntoko, Eskan, all these big gold camps they're showing up with, there is a definite spatial relationship. Um, so just uh, zooming in on that uh, Empire, Empire Discovery, if I just jump back, I've, I've circled the Empire Discovery down there. It's a, it's a west-northwest striking structure. Um, it um, strikes through the entire permit area and actually goes out into our application in ODNE in the, in the west. Um, it's a deep-seated structure, myelinite bearing, and so we uh, have a deep tapping or deep fluid tapping structure that we're following here. Um, an initial soil geochemistry, we got a three kilometres uh, of, of um, plus 10 ppb anomaly, and where we've drilled there, there is a... Um, uh, a 200 BPB uh, core. Um, incidentally for us, something that's a bit different, there was no ore payage on this project when we did the soil sampling. Um, the ore payeur followed us in. And uh, if you can see just down in the bottom left hand corner, um, in about a six to nine month period, they uh, dug a 50 metre long, 20 metre deep uh, saprolite pit. Um, we had about 1500 guys on site. Um, once they hit the hard rock, they um, started to disappear. So um, they're not there now. There's only a, probably maybe a, a handful, probably 20 or 50 Orpeo working there now. But uh, the discovery section is uh, drill section two there, the second, second section from the west. Um, the discovery hold uh, is uh, 18 metres at 5 grams, including 10 metres at, uh, at uh, 7.9. Um, and then uh, we increased our planned drilling and, and now we have four, four drill sections through there. Um, the, the step east, um, we have nice mineralisation, I'll just jump to here. We have nice mineralisation on the, on the step east and um, our host rock geology uh, actually broadens there as well. So the host rock is a, is a diorite that's intruded the, the, the um, shear zone 
and uh, in it, it, within it there is a strong brittle ductile deformation and it's this brittle ductile deformation that hosts the mineralisation. Um, so in, the, in those figures the blue is the diorite and the, the hatch are these brittle ductile deformation zones and uh, they're filled with uh, 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 shear veins and extension veins and every core hole that we've drilled through this deformation zone has visible gold. Um, they're just the highlights, so we don't need to tell you that right now. So for exploration upside, just going back, we've got a three kilometres of strike of where we have done some geochemistry. There is uh, plus 10 kilometres, I think it's close to 15 kilometres of strike within our, in our permit area of the same structure. Um, we have, as soon as we finish this uh, program, uh, the RC Diamond program, um, we have now auger drilled. Um, on 100 by 25 metre spacing along that three kilometre anomaly. The reason for this is, is that um, the, the geology noses out uh, where we've done the drilling, but as you go to the east, uh, the cover deepens, and at the furthest east, the cover would be, tra with transported laterite is about five metres deep. So now uh, we're just awaiting results to help us with a future targeting phase, and we hope to be drilling on this project uh, by, by the end of March. Um, the Odigani project itself, there is other <laughs> upside in um, there is a, a structural corridor to the north of the Odigani, I mean of the Empire Discovery Corridor. Um, there is known mineralisation along that, intrusions, um, and we're at an early stage of that. We've done some geochemistry, we want to extend that ge geochemistry throughout that whole corridor. Um, Moving on to the Bonduku project, we don't have a lot of time. So Bonduku is our, 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 another project that we've been working since uh, listing. We've got 80 kilometres of fertile structures. Um, that uh, central Awari trend is, is 38 kilometres long. We've now auger drilled that entire uh, uh, structure. So there's multiple targets to follow up along there. Um, the Kodio trend, which goes up to the northeast, is... Um, is a, a, a it's a left stepping structure, so there's there's jogs within that. Known mineralisation in these trends: ore payage, rock chip samples up to 10 grams per ton. And the third one is the Samanda Prospect um, down on on the western side. There we have two three kilometre long so soil anomalies, which we're currently infilling now. So, as a as a drill down. Um, there, there is, there, this is the auger drilling, um, six, you know, up to six kilometre long uh, auger anomalies there to, to, uh, to follow up. We have done some trenching and drilling on, on, the, on the Farco prospects um, and we need, we, we need to continue to work on these but there's, there's nice intercepts in there in the trenches, 17 metres at 2.6 including high grade intervals at 10.5 and, and 11.5 and grams per tonne. Um, the Kodio trend, we've just finished auger drilling, expecting results at the end of next month. Um, and, uh, and so it, in, an, in, in summary, we've, uh, on both these projects, we've uh, continued to work um, and, and build targets, targets to, to drill. So, and before the, before the end of this season, we'll definitely be drilling uh, the Empire project and, uh, and hopefully um, at a minimum, uh, trenching a few of the targets uh, at, at Bonduku, or if time permits, before the wet season, we would drill uh, some of those targets as well. So uh, that's a, the Awali story. Thank you for listening.